Hey folks, today we're gonna look at some new stuff, season 10 from Arena Breakout China version or Chinese version. If you wanna see the original recording, the original video of this, then you can find a link in the description. Um, it's not the first time I'm seeing it because there was already another video published where I kind of saw what's gonna come, but uh, I wanna react to it, I wanna guide you through. So to my understanding, we're gonna have two sniper type of weapons that are gonna be added to the game uh, in season for us. I, I think it's gonna be season six or seven. One of them is a shotgun-like type of sniper weapon, which has two bullets and then you need to reload after shooting twice. And the other one was looking similar to an AUG. And then now what we see on screen is like hand new handguards and new, like yeah, all of them are handguards, different type of handguards and uh, new attachments which I guess, you know, it's gonna shuffle things a bit again because it has different stats, you can experiment with that. And I also know that on top of handguards, we're gonna have some new, um, what is it? What is it? Uh, magazines, for example, for the um, UMP, we're gonna have a 45 round mag. And um, I'm not sure what we're looking at right now, but something related to the AR-57. <laughs> my, my Chinese is absolutely terrible. And by terrible, I mean that I don't actually understand a single, you know, anything that is in Chinese. So bear with me. But uh, um, I guess what we've been looking at now is there gonna be some slight um, weapon related changes. Then we're gonna have some ammunition, new ammunition, was it like an A1 ammunition? I didn't catch that. Uh, it's just so fast. I mean, my brain is not braining. We're gonna have something that uh, works similar like a gas bomb. As you can see, you can actually throw it. And, um, you know, obviously he's throwing it into the toilet, you know, just to like show that it's stinky. But it's gonna be similar to a gas, but it's brown and um, it's it comes in some kind of package. So that's also some, actually people don't often use like gas bombs and stuff like that. And even I don't see people using flashbangs too often, maybe stun grenades, but you know, it's not, you know, that, that frequently used. Um, now I, I think what we had on screen were events, but I have absolutely no clue about those events. Then we have a key. If I saw it correctly, then this key is gonna cost us 140,000. And this is the key that allows you to go into the house that is next to the stables, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was the stables. Because in the next season, um, or in, in China in season 10, for us in season six, I suppose, we're gonna have a revamped version of farm. And what you are seeing now is that They've been slightly adjusting the objects of the map to make sure that it's easier to extract and to avoid being, you know, being shot during the extraction. We had the same on TV stations, so we can have these adjustments on farm as well. And this is the new uh, wheat field. So instead of that, you know, big and, and, and bushy wheat, we're going to have more like a I, you cannot hide that much uh, on the wheat field as you did before. It's gonna look slightly different. And for me, this is interesting because that's usually the route I'm taking. That's, that's you know, the place where I go from villa to the motel. And for one single second, we saw the, um, you know, that, that uh, tent outside. Interesting update is that, you know, you can enter from both sides. So that's, that's a big difference because you cannot hide and then just, you know, camp in there. Um, so you can shoot through it. And this, uh, this is like a bittersweet moment for me because uh, the top floor of the wheat field hut is one of my favorite ones on farm. Don't ask me why. Um, maybe because I found something nice, you know, back then when I started playing the game and maybe I found a key or something. And whenever I go into that wheat field hut, you know, it just revives like good memories. But this whole area in the next season or in one of the upcoming updates is going to be fully revamped, as you can see. So instead of, of, of that yellow uh, wheat, we're going to have this, this more, more green version. And 
you know, it's it it doesn't it doesn't allow you to to hide in there. Oh, we're gonna even have some pumpkins, uh, <laughs> which you can smash, and then inside you have some loot. I wouldn't say that this is kind of the most realistic aspect of arena breakout. So smashing pumpkins and then having some stuff inside. But okay, okay, maybe we are already preparing for Halloween. Maybe, maybe this is gonna be a Halloween type of event. Um, okay, I have no clue what that was, but um, now we see the battle pass. The battle pass, I think, is different for us. So from the global version, um, you know, it's it, it's it's gonna be different. So regardless of what we see, I don't think uh, it applies to the um, global version. Uh huh. So I think what we are seeing here, I, I, as I said, I looked at that and what we saw is that when you start looting something, you can still close the door afterwards, maybe. I'm not even sure if this is how it works at the moment. And uh, this is this is going to be one of the like the big changes, like the thermal, equipping the thermal and detaching the thermal, because I'm not sure if you like were paying attention, but it takes approximately five seconds to install the thermal and it also takes five seconds to take it off your helmet which means that you know for thermal players that's that's that that's a that's a nerf i mean i mean for most of the players they're gonna say that oh happy for this change but for the thermal players uh they're not gonna be happy and this change Ladies and gents, what you see now is showing that if you have broken legs, let me just stop for a second. If you have broken legs, um, let's go back here. If you have broken legs, then uh, the height of your jump is gonna be reduced. And even if you are taking painkillers, you can still not jump as high as if you have healthy legs. This is what's being demonstrated now. Painkillers, and even with the painkillers, you cannot jump on the desk. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a game changer, but you know, we just need to remind ourselves to fix our broken legs. And then we have something I uh, already shared via community post. It's an armored car. I guess this is gonna be mine only. Um, to avoid being sniped and stuff like that. And then at the end, uh, stop, 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 stop. Let's go back. And at the end, we're gonna have some new skins. Um, oh, come on, stop. I said stop. Maybe I didn't hit pause. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we're gonna have an H4 skin, an Orc skin, an MP5. And a UMP and CPW. I'm not even sure about that. That I, I, it must be an SMG. Maybe this is something we're gonna also get. But we are going to have some new, let's say, rusty skins. Maybe personally, you know, if you ask me, I don't like them because you know uh, it makes them feel old and worn instead of the powerful and shiny. I like the ones which actually, you know, make you feel more powerful. Like the Midas skin, I like that. And also my old P90 graffiti red uh, skin, I like that. Looks dope, looks cool. But these ones, it feels to be that, you know, they are worn and, uh, you know, they're not functioning correctly. So this is not gonna be my, my favorite skin for sure. Okay, that's it. And there is one more thing, not in this video, but something I want to give you a heads up on is that in another video I heard or saw that there's going to be a solo mode. Okay, I, I don't have the details yet, but I'm really excited about the solo mode. I guess solo mode will be simply like same map, maybe lockdown version of it but uh, you're gonna be guaranteed solo, which means that if you have a kill, then you don't need to be worried that that guy has, um, has, has teammates. I'm not sure though of how it's gonna change the game because if, you know, if you're gonna have um, the exact, I mean, the same number of spawns, then, you know, it's not gonna be that ideal because then we're talking about the total of 
six up to eight people on a, on a, on a big map, like farm. So maybe there's going to be a twist and maybe there's going to be one person spawning on every single spawn, which again would make it more interesting. So guys, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you upcoming stuff from uh, China version. I have more. I have um, a video um, which I want to react on, uh, which is skin specific. And then I also want to react to the newest announcements regarding console and uh, Facul. I think it's Facul or Facul, the F-A-C-U-L, the AI um, teammates. I want to I wanna share my opinion on that as well, but um, bye for now. Have a nice day. Shoot, loot, subscribe and see you in the next one. Ciao. Bye.